from Mementos and English Martyrs and Confessors for Every Day of the Year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. October 19th, From Prison to Paradise, St. Philip Howard, layman, 1595. After his condemnation, he rose at 5 a.m. and spent four or five hours every morning and three or four in the afternoon in prayer, so that his knees grew very hard and black. He fasted thrice a week, and on the vigils of the great feast, he had neither meat nor drink. In his spare time, besides a little physical exercise, he used his remarkable intellectual gifts in translating spiritual works. To the poor, he gave much of his scantly allowance, and he intended, if ever it were possible, to restore all church lands in his possession, to make his two houses monasteries, and himself to enter religion. Through his rigid confinement, his body wasted while his soul waxed strong, till one day, at dinner, he was seized with dysentery, which consumed him to skin and bone. The queen refused his petition for a priest or for his wife and children to visit him, though this latter she had promised. But she sent word that, if he would go to church once, all would be granted his honor and estates restored, and the fullness of her favor. He refused her offer, and after eleven years imprisonment, gave back his soul to God. He inscribed on his cell, quote, The more of suffering for Christ in this life, the more of glory with Christ in the next. <laughs>